In this video, I'm going to talk about Club Deck, which is an amazing application created by these beautiful folks that just wanted a better experience on the desktop. Now, Clubhouse has been around for over a year now. Now it's available on every single phone, smartphone. So what's so cool about Club Deck? Well, Club Deck enables you to not only use this application on your desktop, maybe a Windows machine or a Mac machine. So this is Club Deck. You just simply go to clubdeck.app. Here it goes, Club Deck, Clubhouse, Hearts, desktop available on Mac and PC. Please know that Club Deck is not affiliated with Clubhouse. Now the cool part is you can read all of this stuff on here. They've got a little screenshot as well as a little video down here. And if you want it, you can download it for your Mac or your Windows. Um, privacy, we never access any of your personal data. Then of course, they've got really cool shortcuts right down here so you can quickly control the Club Deck app with your keyboard. Now, what's really awesome is that if you have a Stream Deck, you can program these shortcuts on your Stream Deck and control Club Deck by a press of a button. Now that sounds really awesome. So let's jump in and learn a bit more about Club Deck. As soon as you download and install it on your machine and you launch the application, this is the sign in screen. So let me go ahead and punch in my phone number. So now Clubhouse is going to send me a code on my phone so then I can log on to the app. And as soon as I hit submit, it's going to log me in to Clubhouse and show me the hallway. Now this is the hallway view on Club Deck application and you can simply see all the people and all the different rooms that are now active. I'm going to actually start a new room. But before I do that, I want to walk through what these little icons do. So this is my photo. Of course, I can click on it and I can upload a new photo. I can do that right now and click on my name, which will show me my profile right here. I can scroll down and see the whole thing and all the clubs that I'm part of who nominated me. If I want to create a new club, I can do that from here as well. And I can edit my bio right inside the application. So let's go ahead and cancel and close this profile view. The next icon is this little people icon. Let's see what happens when you click on here. These are all the people that are my friends and that are online right now. So now I can click Go ahead and close. Let's look at this little icon. This icon shows me how to, how I can browse all of the different clubs. I can simply click through and look at that. And this little icon, the little plane, will show me all of the back channel chats that I've been doing on Clubhouse. And this is conversation pulled directly directly from Clubhouse. All right, let's go ahead and start a new room and start this room. Voila, as the room starts, you can see my conversation happening down here and the, here are all the cool things down here. Nathan, the loneliness coach here, uh, experiencing this experience from on his end on Clubhouse through his phone. <laughs> Thanks, Nathan. So as you can see, as I log on to the room, I'm in the room, you can see my face popping up over here and the audio uh, circle highlighting similar to how it shows up on the Clubhouse app on your smartphone. Now on the right side, you'll see that this is a private room and I've opened this room inside my club, Hacks and Hobbies, which shows up up top right here. Cool part is there's a little Twitter icon next to uh, the share icon and shows how many people are in this room. If I click on the Twitter icon, it's gonna take me 
to Twitter and telling people that, hey guys, I'm listening to this clubhouse room, come join me. Similar functionality that we have on the clubhouse app itself. The share icon enables you to copy, copy the room link that you can then send it to your friends through email or what have you. Now there's a mute button over here, which will mute my microphone. Just click on it. I mute it. Uh, if I unmute, I can talk again inside the room. I also have the ability to mute everyone on stage. So that's kind of like a superpower. If you're a moderator, uh, you can. All right, go ahead and mute me. All right. So it shows me a little dialogue box. Are you sure you want to mute everybody on stage? I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And there we go. Everybody but myself or the moderator uh, is still on, you know, still not muted. So let's make Nathan a moderator. Now Nathan is moderator. He can unmute himself and then we can try it again. Woo. All right. So let's hit mute everyone. Mute everyone on stage. Okay. Yes. So it does mute everybody on the stage, even if it's the moderator or anybody else uh, speaking on the stage, they're muted just so you can take control of your room if there's too much craziness happening. All right. Thank you, Nathan, for participating. All right. So there's also the ability to ping other people, just like we ping other people on your on Clubhouse. So similar features, right? Everything the same. The hand permissions, the same thing. Now, some new things that you'll see here that are not on Clubhouse are, for example, audio settings. Let's take a look at audio settings. Here you can choose where the output is going to go. So if you have headphones, if you have different speakers hooked up, you can choose different speakers here. And then, of course, which microphone you're going to be using to send the audio through. In the audio quality section, you can say, hey, I want standard quality or high quality. And since we are on a desktop, we are able to experience the high quality audio. Another cool thing is audio effects. Now in the audio effects feature, there's, there's a few built in audio effects. You can have, you have the clap, a comedy and a ding. Now you'll notice on the, there's the play button and a little audience button. So if I click on, if I click on the audience button where it's crossed out, it means that I can preview the sound before the entire room plays. So if I click on cl clap play, <laughs> only I can hear that audio, but nobody else. But if I uncheck or enable audience to hear that clap sound, and I can also control the volume of that sound. So let's do a clap. And you can kind of control the audio, the volume button kind of like fader, so you can fade out the clapping as well. And there's other sounds uh, like uh, comedy and ding. Then of course there's uh, custom effects, local files, so you can load up a local file or you can go to YouTube. I haven't tried what happens here. Let's take a look at YouTube. Oh my goodness, it loads up the entire YouTube app inside another browser window. So check that out. That is pretty cool. Search a video and then export to audio effects. Okay. So I picked a video, export to audio effects, pick a name for your sound effect clip. Let me bring this. So click okay. And it's downloading the audio file and now it made it available inside under the audio effects library. So if now, if I can click on, now if I click it, it plays back the audio that I just downloaded from YouTube. Now that's pretty cool. Nathan, were you able to hear that sound? Oh yeah. I heard that one loud and clear. <laughs> 
Fantastic. So those are the voice effects music. So I can close that window over here. Now the really cool feature that, that I re started recording this audio was for recording a room. Now there's a little big button called start recording. And as soon as you hit it, it's asked me, are you sure that you want to start recording the room? And if I click okay, it asks me, Hey, which folder do you want to save this file? If you want to give it a tag, this is on the Mac. You can give it a tag and then you can choose the folder that where it's going to go and hit. And now it's recording the room. Now everybody in the room, whoever's on stage that's talking, the audio is going to get recorded and will hang out. And you can later on use that audio for your podcast or for whatever it is that you would like to do. Now you might notice something right under recording is stream and record. So let's go ahead and stop recording. It says, are you sure you want to finish? Let's just please. Underneath is something called stream and record. If I click on this button, it shows me, Hey, get your RTMP settings at, at restream.io. Now you might be wondering why am I going to restream? So let me bring up this window for restream. So on my Restream account, here is the RTMP settings. So here's the RTMP URL and the stream key. So I copy this information over to Stream Deck, sorry, over to Club Deck. And here's the two, two items. Now down here, the stream cover, I can give it a custom stream cover. And I can also say overlay waveform on the picture. Now, when I click on start streaming and recording, what it's going to do is it's going to record an audio file on your desktop and watch what happens. So click OK. And now if you look at Stream Deck, you'll see the, the default graphic from Club Deck is coming through and you can see 25 frames per second, 1280 by 720, and it's overlaying the audio waveform on top of the video. Now on the left side, you can see I have multiple channels enabled. So if I click on, Hey, send it to YouTube and it's going to start sending data to YouTube. And if I click on my uh, URL for my YouTube channel, it'll say, Hey, there is a live stream going on right now. And if I click on it, it is the audio from the club deck, All right? So that is a really cool feature. You can stream your room directly to platforms such as YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, Twitch and uh, Twitter and all the different platforms that are, that are added to your restream account. All right, I'm going to go ahead and stop recording, stop streaming and recording. And it's going to say, okay. So just like we did to start recording, it, it saved it as a file. It did the same thing for streaming and record. You can go ahead and close this. The next option is called highlight. If I click on highlight, this has a way to promote your room. So on Twitter to promote your content, you need to be recording the room to be able to start a highlight. Hit record, click OK, save the file name. And now that it's started recording, I can simply click on the highlight icon and it says, Hey, all you got to do is just press the H button on your keyboard. And now it's recording a highlight and then I can press H again and it'll finish recording and creating that highlight. As you can see the little blinking icon, it says highlight is being generated. So let me go ahead and click on save. And since it was just a really short file, now that it stopped creating the highlight, I can simply click on stop recording and show you what that looks like. So let me bring that file that was created.
So the highlight is then recorded. It creates this square image that you can then post on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, wherever you want to send it along with a link to your room. Now, depending on how many people are on stage, it's going to put the icons of their heads directly on here so that you can see, oh, these were the people that were having the conversation and this person was talking at the time. So that's a cool highlight feature built directly into Club Deck. Voice assistant. Question you may have, current button, Bitcoin price, anyone? So this is something cool. Um, the answer will be streamed in the room if you're on stage unmuted. You can also ask it to say something by starting your sentence with say hello. And of course there's profile picture. Um, you can quickly or PTR, you can quickly PTR. Yeah, you can quickly PTR change the image through this little quick icon where you can update the profile picture. Uh, there's also uh, open audience insights, which opens a little dialog box on the right side, which says analyzing your audience interest. This will take several minutes. So this will basically see how many people in are in your room and it'll kind of give you an overall picture. Now I'll have to experiment this with by entering a room that has a lot of people in it. So let's go ahead and close that. The next one is show followers. Now this is just a toggle as I click on show followers, whoever's on the stage or whoever's in the room, it'll update their name and put their total number of followers in front of their name. It's a pretty cool thing. You can quickly see how many people have, how many followers people have. Uh, then there's a show search where you can then filter the entire room by name or bio. You can open transcript. Now transcript uses otter.ai. So if you have otter program set up, it can immediately start listening to your room and do a little transcription. Close that. Then there's also chat with the mods, which creates a new chat room and it'll select all the mods that are in the room and you can start chatting with them. So let's go ahead and close that window. It's kind of like a back channel that clubhouse is now hooked up. The last, one is open social chat and that will take you to telegram discord or whatsapp within the club deck app and then open room open room basically my room is currently private so if i click on open room it's gonna update the room and make it an open room so similar features that clubhouse has on their application all of the cool things that you can do inside your room as you're creating content, as you're having conversations with your favorite people on Club Deck. So it's a pretty powerful application. So that's a little rundown of how Club Deck app runs and you can download it on your application, on your desktop, on your Windows, on your Mac, and have a grand conversation with your friends. All right, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you learn a thing or two. I'll see you in the next one.